Hey guys, this is Demon Enox, and this is Demon4444. And say you're new, or you just bought Roxio Cash Card, or you want to learn how to make videos, this is kind of a little tutorial for you, or this is a little bit more for Cole, too, because he doesn't know how to do this, so I didn't actually feel like explaining it to him. And then I figured you guys would want to know how to do this, too, if you actually stay up with our videos, things like that. First, I'm going to show you the capture card software. This is exactly the capture card software. I'm going to let it full screen know. I guess it's not going to full screen. But here it is. It tells you how much time you have elapsed, how the file size cre created, and how much time you have left on, like, how much memory you actually have time to record. And then here's your space actually left on your drive. As you can see, right now it's no signal status because I don't have it on. And here's your source. This would be a Roxio capture card, and this would be various settings here. And then if you want to do a live commentary on device here, on audio, you go over to audio, you click on that, and then one will say line, the other one will say microphone, or whatever microphone you've plugged in. You click on that, hit OK. But if it's a microphone, like, built into the computer, you're going to want to turn your sound down, uh, so that way it doesn't echo a bunch. And then once you've made your video, it's going to end up down here. And then you can come into this, the Roxio Capture Card Editor, or, yeah, Video Editor. So say I want a video, and I'm going to click on Add Video, and if you, I'm going to add multiple videos here, so I'm gonna, going to go down and go to my desktop, and I'm going to want my intro, so here's my intro, and then... I, if I want a different video from a different folder, I'll go here, find the folder. Say I want to put, put one of my Minecraft videos. I'm pretty sure this is one of my Minecraft videos. And then you can a actually decide to insert it before or after, or replace the panel, things like that. I most The most likely used ones are these, before or after. I want it after this panel, so hopefully it's going to come right here. In, yes, you can see this is my Minecraft, and you can see how smoothly this is going to switch over after my intro is done. But there's no lag in the time when it switches over. Um, nothing. This is a really nice program. See, it switches over right away. And so it reco so then it gives you all the sound. There's nothing out of it. And then if you want to add a background audio, you click on Add Background Audio. This is all real simple you just want to click on add background audio up here and say I wanted I wanted Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim song so here's this and I want internal track is going to replace the track sound effect track is just going to go down on this FX1 and music is going to go down on the music track I'm just going to click add on music track and so then it's going to come here and so then what you do is you hit play and it and it'll come over and then you can go ahead since this song is a little quiet so this is actually what it's going to sound like it's a little loud now and to change that all you do is you go in and you hit edit and then once this loads up there's going to be a volume thing once this loads up I can show you there's going to be volume right here this is where your volume is. You can adjust your volume to make it quieter or louder, depending on where you want it. See, now it's quieter or louder or quieter again. Say I wanted it like that, so then you can hear me and that talk. Now, if you want to upload the video and say you're satisfied with the video, after I show you how to add text, which is pretty something you just kind of click you it's pretty simple you just add your text hi youtube say so now that would be there and you can edit your time and where it's there down here so that's pretty nice and then text effects you add your text effect first if you're planning on having it scrolling like credits and things like that there's different text effects that you can mess with you can also change your color, your font, any font that you've downloaded will be there. But say you want to put this on YouTube. There's the YouTube button here, which I don't recommend if you have a slow computer. And then there's the Export As button. You can save your changes here, and I'm not going to save. 
and then you can just put it as any anything you want. I'm exporting this as 1080p right now, but I'm not actually going to export it. So I'm going to close out of it, and then there's your video. You're done. It takes a while to export, and then you just go in and upload it to YouTube from here, wherever you've saved it. Next is Windows Movie Maker. For Windows Movie Maker, it's pretty simple. If you've ever used PowerPoint, you'll pick up the hang of it really fast. But all you do is you click here if there's nothing here. Otherwise, there's a button right there. So say I want to add a video, and I'm going to add two of my videos. I'm going to add my Doomsday intro and my regular intro. So I just hit open here. Okay, so now on my regular intro, it takes a little time to load up because of it's a little, I guess, more data. But see, it plays it in full sound. Then if I wanted to add music, I would just click Add Music, and it would pop this up. Let's say I wanted Sail, then it would put this over it. See, it would put it over. And then there's the sound here, and if you want, really wanted to edit the sound, you could cut your sound out here. So see, then you can just cut your sound out there, and it's the same for anything here. And then you can also, while you're here, you can need to move this. Move that over. You can add it, add a title if you want, so it'll say my movie, you can change it around make different effects things like that animations for when it, for when it comes in things like that it really doesn't make a difference unless you're here so see it does that which is pretty cool and then you can add a caption to your video so if I wanted a caption about right here in my video I'd click add caption and then it would say hi and then as you can see it would just play the video as normal with hi on the bottom so there'd be nothing new and then, if you wanted credits, your credits roll, actors, and then demon four 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 four, and then your credits roll as normal. And then this is a little bit more simplified version. And then to upload it anywhere, really, it's pretty simple. You just kind of you can add your plugin or manage your services, but really, the only ones you're gonna want you really need to use ever. If you're like me, YouTube or Facebook, you can upload these to YouTube. And when you click on YouTube, it gives you all these sizes. You either want to do this one or the recommended one. I'll just click on the recommended one. And it's going to ask you to sign into YouTube. If you haven't done it before, it might do it every time it, since the latest update. I'm not sure. But it's going to load up, and then it's going to sh show a sign-in sheet here. And you're going to sign in, and then it's going to prompt you to do things like enter the video name tags and things like that so and then oh it's just gonna upload there's no going to YouTube clicking upload it's just gonna be there on your channel so next time you went to your channel it would just be right here there's nothing nothing to do you just click on this and see here's the type in screen and you just type it in yeah but this has been a little bit of a tutorial on how to upload videos and edit videos depending on what you like to use um yeah so this has been demon 44444 Peace.